Today we're going to be taking a look at the Insane Sorcerer build. This build is not only going to be able to take care of foes very close to you, but also is going to take care of different mobs at the same time. It's going to handle the drakes like no other build. And also we're going to be one-shotting a lot of the different type of big enemies. We're going to be showing you the different type of weapons, different type of armor, skills, augments, and everything that makes this S tier build a very fun to play. As you are able to unlock the sorcerer right from the beginning, it's not as powerful, but the more you are able to unlock different skills, different weapon skills, the, your different, different augments, the more powerful this bill becomes now let's take a look on how we're going to be able to not just one shot enemies but also how we're going to be able to take care of the different type of foes with the different skills okay the first skill that we're going to be able to use is going to be the high flagration this spell is going to take different type of foes at the same time such as your lower type of enemies that you're going to be dealing with a lot as you are moving through the different type of quest lines. Now, what makes this spell really good is that with the quick spell, you're going to be able to do this a lot faster with a little more stamina usage, of course, but eventually with the type of skill that these, the sorcerer has, especially with this type of staff, you're going to be able to get your stamina really quickly so you're going to be able to use this a lot your second skill is going to be the high haggle this type of blizzard not only is going to extend the duration on also the range and the debilitation duration so it's going to be able to take care of a lot of mobs such as see here it's really good for lower end type of enemies so we're going to be able to take care of with the high flagration the high haggle those two type of and the type of lower end enemies now what do we need to do to be able to take care of like a mid type of levels or even the big bosses now we have two type of spells the first one is going to be the augural flare this here spell it's very op now the best way to be able to use this to be able to take down uh, medium size and even large size enemies is by using it with the quick spell once you are able to use the quick spell you're able to detonate your first one which is going to launch that explosive that you're seeing and then you're able to follow it up with a more longer um, duration one when both of them are hitting at the same time you're going to be able to just delete your enemy really fast because you're going to see the number of possible explosion. And the more you use it with your staff and you're charging that, you're going to see the numerous amount of explosions, which is probably just going to disintegrate anything that is touches. So this is my go-to. What I like to do is use this spell with the combination of either the high hoggle which allows you to do those two type of spells really fast now if we want to take care of big enemies there's nothing like the master spell maelstrom the maelstrom is just what it says it's going to be a storm that you're going to be able to use and just take care of enemies the only downside with this spell is that you cannot use it with a quick spell. So you're going to be sitting there like a sitting duck for at least five to 10 seconds. You can always cancel it if you are in too much danger, but once it goes off, it just does a lot of damage. As you're able to see here, it is really good where the enemy has different type of weak points that you're able to attack just at once, perfect, to take down drakes perfect to take down different ogres and is going to help you to get out of trouble when the enemy is just too overpowerful 
What I like to use in combination is the Agro Flare with the Maelstrom. Those two put together, not only are you getting the kind of like the tornado type of damage, but you're also going to get those explosions that you're going to get from the Flare, which and if you put it all together, they're going to hit just about the same time and you're able to take down just any enemy which is you could say with one shot because you the more you charge it and with the maelstrom it's just one two punch that there isn't an enemy in any size that is going to be able to handle that definitely the three different core skills bursting bolt that allows us to do that burst really quickly and if you hold x then you're going to be able to use that with a lot more strength and it does take a lot of the hp from the enemies if you hold it down and then you can always follow follow it up with quick 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 like quick bursts the quick spell is just makes it very easy and effective for us to use the other three di different type of weapon skills which are going to be the algoro flare the high flagration and also the high haggle with those three different weapon skills and the, with the quick spell you're able to use this a lot faster and you know with the sorcerer it does take a lot to be able to just do that spell but at the end i have two amazing rings that you're going to be able to use that is not only going to increase your power but also how fast you're going to be able to do with things now levitate you definitely are going to be using this a lot not only get, helps you get out of trouble but also once you go up in the air, you're going to be able to use this to start your spells, such as the high haggle or the flare or even the bursting bolts. You can use those in combination with the levitate. And once you come down on the floor, it automatically is going to proc it. And then you're going to be in a lot less danger when you are able to use the levitate now the different type of augments that we're going to be able to use are the following we're going to be able to focus on two things one on stamina and two on increasing the power of the sorcerer such as asperity is going to increase the likelihood of inflicting debilitation with your attacks definitely want to have that the next one is going to be sagat city this one is going to augment my magic power and with the ring that i'm going to show you later in the video you're going to be see, see why this is very very important to have exaltation is also going to augment my stamina recovery speed because you are going to need a lot of stamina when you are using the sorcerer not only for the maelstrom type of uh spell but the also the other different spells you always want to have that stamina up high so you are able to take care of different type of foes now endurance is going to increase our stamina once again focusing on more stamina and to seal the deal we're going to use the augment zeal this one is going to reduce the stamina so it's going to allow us to use more of our power more of our magic with less consumption and why not right it's just going to make the build even more powerful and our last augment is the catalysis this one is going to increase the damage that is going to deal when exploding a hostile target's elemental weakness so it's going to target a lot of the different weak points that are in the different enemies which is why it's very important when you are using your a rural flare or even the maelstrom the high haggle or the high filtration flagration and then we got the weapon in armor the first one is going to be the dragon's wit this is the best arch staff that you can get in the game which you are able to acquire it by visiting the dragon's forge in either ng plus or in the unworn world and then we got the armor the combination of the deadly nightshade that you're able to get from dragon's forge as well as the silhouet sorcery and the runic gators those different type of armor sets are going to help you not just only raise your magical defense but also your knockdown resistance overall this different type of pieces 
makes this build very powerful. There are two different types of rings that make a sorcerer build even more powerful. First one is the ring of percipience. This one is going to boost your magic. So overall with the sorcerer, just using magic, you're going to be able to make your build a lot more powerful. And to help it, we're going to use the ring of articulacy. This one is going to slightly reduce the time taken to encant spells. So when you're using quick spell, it's also going to be able to do that a lot faster. So all your different type of force uh, weapon skills that you're using, you're going to be very OP because you're just reducing the time in the less in less time you're able to do this that more you're going to be able to stay alive in the fight, the more you're going to be able to take care of the different foes. Now, some tips that I want to give you when playing as a sorcerer. One of them is that you got to choose when you're going to be able to use some of the weapon skills, such as the Maestro. You're just standing there like a sitting duck. So you either want to be somewhere far or somewhere on top of a rock or have a pawn that is going to be able to just try to take a lot of the aggro away from you so you are able to perform those type of um, weapon skills. So there you go. That is how you are able to put this build together. It's very powerful with the different spells, different weapon skills. You're going to be a wrecking machine in Dragon's Dogma 2. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.